The following program contains language, images, and or subject matter that may be objectionable to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Direct from Albany, New York, it's time for The Media Zone! With your hosts, Ed and Dave! Tonight, a look at this week's new film and DVD releases. And the chance to win free movie tickets with the Poster Pairs game. And now your hosts, Ed and Dave! Can you see me slight the uh, production there? Oh, so unprofessional. Welcome to the Media Zone. Ed and Dave here. Ed and Dave with you. We're still here. So the web series, Ed. Oh, the web series we were continuing from uh, last time. Uh, talking about the production. and uh, it's, it's co As soon as the first one is done, that one's going out uh, to the public. To rave reviews. To rave reviews. Now, after that, it's going to be a lot easier to put the rest together. It was all this green screen we did. At the beginning. We don't have our trailer down here, do we? Do you have that on anything over there? Any old discs? No. Oh. But um, we did learn something from uh, this. It you did. Don't rely on <laughs> There's the trailer. Why don't you put that on while we're talking oh. about it? Uh, the, the, I'll give a little bit of the plot away. The beginning is, opens on a strip club. Oh! And inside the strip club are two dancers, Cammy and uh, Christina. Oh, look how thin I was. Are the We're not using that uh, uh -huh. logo anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, it just uh, opens with the titles. See, this all looks very good. It's all practically shot, which is easy to edit together. There's only one shot of the dance thing, which is not... There's a flaw right here. Where? See when I shot? Yeah. Why was there no recoil? Well, you didn't do that. I know. I was <laughs> unaware. I, I didn't think about it. There's Christina, who's one of the dancers. Her part was expanded from oh. a vampire victim to a dancer. Yeah. Now, see, that's a lot of green screen right here. That's what's taken all the time. Okay. It's Look almost at, done. Are, Maria gets uh, attacked and screams, and we're just standing there like, oh, uh, no, no, no reaction to it. But anyway, so we're, you're working on production to get this thing out. I'll tell you, three shots of this is better looking than that land shark thing we <laughs> saw last time. Look at that's not the shot. That was, Cammy's green. That was a reflection from oh. the green screen. That was a quickie put together shot. The final product will not look. That's a green screen shot there. I still don't understand why Frankenstein has such long hair. It's just, it's just <laughs> weird to me. That's the zombie. Oh, I thought it was Frankenstein. We don't have Frankenstein yet. We'll be meeting him later. No! <laughs> okay, it's a zombie. I, I stand corrected. Anyway. That's a zombie based on the Marvel zombie character that we got in those black and white magazines. In front. Okay, that's right. <laughs> All right, so there you go. There's a little, Ooh, look at that we're... sultry look at Empire. Oh. Oh. So that'll be coming as soon as I get the first one done. It's going out. And what are you putting as the copyright date? <laughs> <laughs> I had to change it twice on the IMDb already, <laughs> and I think it's 16 is on there now, so I don't have to change it again. Well, I'm not changing did it. Did we start it in 14? <laughs> it, it may have been a 13. In oh. there. It could have been. It makes sense to me. It may have even been the November of 12 when we No. I know. It can't really? be that far back. I'll check. Um, for, for five minute segments? <laughs> it's been five years. That's, Actually, it's looking. That's two minutes a year. <laughs> it's, it's looking more like 10 per okay. episode. All right, that's better. Which is a nice run there. And when we get these six done, then we got a, what, is that a half hour? <laughs> 10, 20, No, that's 30, an hour. An hour. All right. Now, Susie's been a blonde Susie, who maybe we'll ask her down here. Okay. Uh, was working on a film, 
Uh, she started about the same time we did, and she's just finished it and is uh, showing it at the Proctor's, uh, that little theater there. But it's a real film, though. It's a real hour and a half film. Okay, see, that's a real film taking that much time is not unusual. <laughs> Web series, you know, freezing out in a November night wearing weird outfits. <laughs> you having trouble eating or whatever it was that's going on there. I I, my pizza was blocked in there. <laughs> These are the hazards we face bringing this series to you. <laughs> Shouldn't take, you know, five years to put together and and uh, and making sure. Okay, we gotta wait. We gotta wait for the smog machine to get rolling again. That was a par. <laughs> Especially now that I can see, I can throw five <laughs> with a green screen effect. There you go. But it uh, now look at you saw that web series. The fog does look nice rolling through there. It Real does. fog. It does from a fog machine. Right. I'll give you fine credit for all the hard. I mock Ed, but I give you uh, major kudos for all the work and effort you put in. It takes a That's, lot. Even even this show, you put in all the work. I just show up. You do nothing. <laughs> It's a lot of work and a lot of playing with the computer. Wow. We'll see <laughs> that, the, the skills. Yeah, producer, we tried to get his computer going, and apparently it. No it. Uh, I'm with you. Took some yeah. tr trouble, and it was a reboot of that damn modem box. Mm. Routers, these computers. I tell you, <laughs> the state is relying too much on these computers. They are going to go down, <laughs> and they're going to go down hard. And there's going to be no record of anything except the papers on my desk. It's going to be like the purge. It's going to be a major purge. I hope they have these things backed up uh, via carbonite or something. <laughs> <laughs> the entire state we're, file system. We're doing the carbonless paper for everything. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. All right, we, have, we do have films. We do. We have Despicable Me 3, Amityville The Awakening, <laughs> The House. Now, Amityville, we did in January. Did we? And it never came out. They held it till now. So we're doing it again. We're going to do it again. Why not? Because there was nothing okay. else coming out. All right. Are we ready for Despicable Me 3? Yes. Is you that gonna... you? You want to do that one? Uh, you like these minions? Yeah, I like the minions. Go ahead. Do a minion. This film continues the adventures of Gru, Lucy, their adorable daughters, Margot, Edith, and Agnes, and the minions. Emmy, Tony, and Grammy Award winner Trey Parker, co-creator of Comedy Central's global, global phenomenon South Park, and the, what does that say, um, pa uh, Parker Voices. <laughs> it's basically saying Parker is now the voice of the villain in here. Now, how do you say this name? You have Baltazar? Have Baltazar. I, yeah. Is that a name? Yeah. It is? Yes, it is. I've never heard of that. Well, now you've learned something. <laughs> Brad. A former child star who's grown up to become obsessed with the character he played in the 80s and proves to be Gru's most formidable nemesis to date. Rated PG-13. Rated PG for action and rude humor. Now, wasn't Steve Carell in the originals? He was. What was he? Who was he? Gru. He's oh. Gru here. Oh, he's still in it? Yes. Okay. I haven't seen any of these. You haven't seen any? No. There's been two Despicable Me's and then the Minion movie. Uh, I've seen none of them. The Minion movie doesn't have Steve Carell in it, and he was sorely missed, believe it or not. <laughs> the only time he was missed. He's really good with this voice as Gru here. This is an 80s villain you can tell by the mullet there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And then the minions are always funny. You get a chuckle from the minions. Hmm. Haven't, uh... Oh, oh, you can't do that. <laughs> PG, there's towel snapping you can't, you, you can't hit the nads with the towel. <laughs> What's it, the guy or the unicorn? She likes the unicorn. Oh, there's a boob. I didn't see a boob. I missed a boob. There's a minion boob. Was it exposed? Yes. Uh, an exposed? Go back. <laughs> Actually, I don't think you saw the uh, boob. I need to see. Even a minion boob I'll take. <laughs> oh my god, I'm having uh, flashbacks to a Michael Jackson song. <laughs> Here we go. Minion high knees even, Dave. What? Oh, look at that. I can see the anal cleft. <laughs> right. 
More high knees and boobs than are were in that beguiled, which oh. you would say. Well, cartoon high knees and cartoon boobs are acceptable on creatures that don't really exist. That's right. That's okay. There you go. No winkies, though. <laughs> no graphic. Well, no, you can't do winkies. No graphic like winkies. No. All right, the awakening. Do you remember doing this in January? <laughs> Come on. Amityville, the awakening. Bella Thorne, Jennifer Jason Lee, Jennifer Morrison. Amityville, the awakening. It's a revival. Mm. Popular franchise? Really? And a modern twist on the classic Harar film. In the film, Belle and her family move into a house. <laughs> but when the strange phenomenon begins to occur in the house, Bella, Belle begins to suspect her mother isn't telling her everything and soon realizes they just moved into the infamous Amityville house. <laughs> Rated R for disturbing horror, violence, and terror. Suggestive images, brief language, and thematic material. The most uh, frightening thing is at the end of this, we're going to have the, it says the release date is <laughs> January 2nd or oh, something. Oh, yes. I have no idea. What are you saying? This guy looks like the Joker here? Oh, on the Gotham? Oh, how about that? Which guy? Who guy? The guy in the bed here who's going to oh. have maggots on him. In a oh, really? Oh, <laughs> all right. 1974, the I still have <laughs> something else I have around the first season of Gotham on Blu-ray. I haven't gotten to yet, Dave. Oh, man. You got a lot of time see, to... See, I'll have plenty to do in my retirement. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's always the flies in the Amityville. Is that the that '70s show guy and from uh, RoboCop? Kurtwood Smith or Kurtwood, whatever his name is. Yeah, that's it. In RoboCop, the first RoboCop, the good RoboCop. I am very frightened. That's a creepy guy. I don't know what it has to do with the Amityville house, but. <laughs> Mm. Amityville. Hi, honey. Come sit down. We're just about to start dinner. Is that oh Bella God. Thorne? That's a creepy. January oh. 2nd, 2015. <laughs> oh, they're way off. Uh, wow. What the hell it's happened? Like, it's like our web series. <laughs> Ours is coming out faster than this Jeez, here. They've made four films between mm -hmm. now and then. Oh, my. All right, Ed. The House. The House with Will Ferrell. Oh. No, no, I, I don't want to click Some it. Coleman and Amy Poehler. Andrew J. Cohen directs this romp. Ooh, a romp. About a mother and father who blow their daughter's college fund and start an illegal casino in their basement. We kind of have that down in Schenectady, almost, <laughs> to recoup the losses. wonder if they're going to have fights breaking out in their <laughs> basements. Rated R for language throughout, sexual references, drug use, some violence, and brief nudity. Oh, finally. What is brief nudity? Maybe it's like a, a side boob <laughs> walking. I don't know. It's no Who's that? Dirty Grandpa. I've seen both of those, but was it Dirty Bad Grandpa or Bad Grandpa? You want to make money like Vegas? You got to look Dirty. Well, Bad Grandpa was Johnny Knoxville, right? Dirty Grandpa was Robert De Niro? Yeah. That was the Robert De Niro one. Okay. That I've seen them both. I don't remember Ravi. Which, was, which one was hysterical? <laughs> Ravi and the Bad Grandpa. Dirty or Dirty, Dirty Grandpa. Grandpa. <laughs> Jeez, I don't remember him. All I re remember was in the uncut version was a rubber, a rubber De Niro penis oh. out into the frame there. Well, are we going to enjoy Will Ferrell any better in this film, Dave, than um, any of the others? I don't, I don't know. This is a romp, Ed. Well, it's like romper room. If it's R-rated, we didn't get it with Baywatch, the R-rated good comedy. Maybe this one? Oh. 
Anything with gambling, the producer will go. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Rocky. There's two things there. I'm so scared. I'm gonna do this. No, I'm gonna do this. Don't play around with Kamatsu! Whoops. Tell your friends if they mess with us. this clip? Two and a half. Oh. They're all two and a half. I saw a couple that were 218. I said, Dave will be very happy. They've cut a few down to oh, 218. That's what we want. Of course, some of you, this is the first time you've mentioned this. How long is the clip? So the other ones must have been entertaining. Well, we had something to say. We there, was a lot of, there was a lot of dead space at oh, this last there? one. So I was wondering if maybe it was extra long for some reason. No, nah, I think we were just looking, waiting for some kind of comedy <laughs> to happen. Oh, okay. I didn't see any. The producer did with Rafi, you there. As long as Rafi is in there and there's gambling. Yeah, you know, the producer's producer. like, a, he, he's like a lucky troll. You just want to rub his head and then maybe you'll win some money. Huh, he does seem to win a he lot. He wins money. But you do, he does lose some too. Well, he paid off a truck <laughs> for his winnings. And it's not like he owed 50 bucks on it. <laughs> I got $100 from a scratch off. I thought I was in the, the money the other day. 100 Listen, he's over there going, yeah, you see? That's still, how, it's not $20,000, Ed. No, it is the most I've ever won on a scratch off. Yeah, well, two dollars is usually top. I win the... twenty. I'm excited. Yeah, sometimes you get twenty. Where to get a hundred on those? People have won more, but that's it. I'm looking I for my yet. Beauty and the Beast VHS. All right, it's <laughs> DVD releases, right? Blu-rays, whatever you call them. Oh, uh, digital downloads, 4K. I'm not getting 4K because I know there's something beyond that. There's 5K. There's going to be a 5K. At some point, the human eye is not going to discern. Right. The wait, wait, I've reached that point <laughs> a long time ago. DVD is fine for us. Yes. The older you get. Pow, 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 Rangers. Now, they were planning four or five more of these until the, <laughs> this one came out. Oh, no. I think it's all over. Oh. Are we getting a TMZ update over there? The put just to check in the... Well, I, I, would, I would venture to guess that just about any film made these days is with the potential for a franchise. And they hope something happens. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Don't count your chickens. Before right. they're released. That's right. I don't think we'll be seeing more Power Rangers oh. or chips. This did not do well. This didn't do well. If this had only come out before they put a thought to doing a Bay Baywatch movie, mm. uh, maybe they wouldn't have gone ahead. I believe this was also written, maybe directed by Dax Shepard. Hmm. I've yet to really fully comprehend that man's talent. <laughs> I don't think there is any yet. The Pink Panther film collection. The film collection, which includes the earlier ones from the 60s. All right. Does it include a shot in the dark? Shot in the dark. Pink Panther. That doesn't include the Inspector Clouseau with uh, Alan Arkin? No. Thank but God. We'll be seeing that later. And it doesn't include the... This one the, ends with the trail of the pink oh, panther. Oh, that was awful. Which was the one with the clips. Yes. After he passed away. And then they did the son of the pink they, panther with Roberto Benigni. <laughs> now, not included in this set is our next one and the two after. Well, hopefully it's not the ones with Steve Martin. <laughs> God, they were awful. No, not even those. <laughs> Son the, of the Pink Panther with Robert Opening. <laughs> that was god awful. I couldn't I couldn't sit through I don't think I've seen too much or any of this one. Was it the actual son of You know, I don't it know. Was, you don't remember the plot line on this I one. don't because I couldn't get through it was so awful. It's just 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 destroying Sellers' <laughs> legacy <laughs> as uh, Inspector Clouseau, who is politically incorrect humor <laughs> <laughs> these days. <laughs> do, oh no, 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 wait a minute. That's uh, Ted Wass, isn't it? Ted Wass, who was uh, Blossom's father. Blossom's father. Was he also in Body Double? Is that Ted Wass? Mm, no. I'm not sure. No. Now, who was this guy? Was this another son of the... I don't, I don't <laughs> remember. Either. What was the connection here? I don't know. He was just a nerdy, awful... <laughs> oh, geez. It's just Blake <laughs> Edwards just... Raping this 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 <laughs> franchise because it's the only thing he had going. It's just come on. And come tell on. me where the next one fits oh, in. I babe. don't know. I'll say that ahead of time. What <laughs> is this all about? I, 
<laughs> <laughs> this was like the 70s yeah. or 60s. Late 60s, I think, maybe 70, but it was just, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the rights issue. Our version <laughs> of American playing Clouseau. I like the picture. It's Jack Davis who did Mad Magazine. But other than that, I don't know anything about I the... saw a bit of this, and mm. he... His accent is only slightly <laughs> better than Steve. the horrific Steve Martin accent. Oh, Jesus, that Steve Martin version is god awful. Mm. And they made two of them. <laughs> One wasn't enough for that. Oh. The Steve, watch Peter Sellers. Those are those were good. The Belko experiment. Now, do you remember this one from the spring, maybe? Nope. This was a low budget one where they put people in a, a room. And they went nuts and were tearing each other apart. No, no, I missed that one. And I think... Did uh, we do it on the show? We did it on the show. Okay. And uh, Merle was in it. What's Merle's name? Merle? <laughs> Merle or Henry the Serial Killer. Why can't I think... And he's in The Guardians. Michael Rooker? Michael Rooker is in this. I thought of every party play <laughs> except his actual name. <laughs> Michael, and he was good in The Guardian. Wasn't he Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer? Yes. Okay. Fine actor, but his name escaped me for a moment. Yes, again. he did, apparently. Oh, let's see. We have four minutes. Are we going to run out of more time here? Because I only have one thing to show people here. Well, why don't you show them what Shall you Shall we mean? show it now? Or is show what is it? it? It's a little menu. All this right. is going to require the producer zooming in. Can you do that within a minute or so? Give me a sec. Let, him, let him have a drink. I was going to include this. I was going to scan this on my scanner, but of course the computer <laughs> went down, so I couldn't scan it. So we're going to have to zoom in. All right. And this is an important prop here, so I got to clean the studio so it doesn't get dirty. <laughs> you, can, you can't damage the prop. I can't is damage. Is that critically this. important? I'll put it up here. You so almost said you almost splash water all over the back water. of it. Now we were talking about Pappy's a few weeks ago. We were. Uh, well, Was we, I here? <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about getting those black and white Marvel magazines. Oh, okay. And you had to go. You ate at Pappy's, then you went to that uh, pharmacy next door. Okay. Yeah. Now I, a while ago, I got a Pappy's menu, and it just turned up again. <laughs> now, Florida. Yeah, it was on eBay. I have Pappy saved in did my... You, uh, did you buy this menu? I bought the menu for like a couple bucks. <laughs> and you scoff... He says they sell anything. <laughs> you scoff and laugh, but when you I see... I do. When you see... Eh, Five dollars maybe. When you see what's inside this, <laughs> you will have a stroke day. <laughs> Here we go. Now this is the late 70s, 60, 76, oh, 77. No. All right. These are complete, not just the items... But the, uh, want to do this? I'll do this. The prices we were paying uh -huh. for... <laughs> you might have to hold that. I'm going to have to hold it. Okay, we'll do this. You'll see. <laughs> Cheese and tomato pizza, small, 95 cents, Dave. <laughs> so large pizza was two fifteen. Two fifteen. And then you go and live it up with some sauces and stuff, two forty five. There was nothing over two fifty. Well, you could get the Italian salami, none <laughs> better, for two dollars and thirty five cents. See, I'm gonna laugh here moving around. Wow. Can you believe of course we were making less then? Beer on Maybe. draft. Thirty five cents. What year was this? Forty <laughs> seven? It was seventies, the later seventies we had pappies here. For thirty five cents? <laughs> That's for just the salad. salad? I think the uh, place your pizza order at the pizza bar or the beer order. Oh, wow. And the back I think we got the drinks and sandwiches here. That's Let's see. Uh, Let's see that. That's gotta be. Oh, move it over. There you go. Other way. Fifty what <laughs> is that ten cents for a cup of coffee? <laughs> yes. Onion rings, thirty-five cents. Twenty-five cents for a, a large Coke. That's two ninety-nine now. That's unbelievable. Fifty cents for a charbroiled burger. Oh my god! Fifty cents. <laughs> I can eat for I can eat for six six months. On Italian that. meatball. Oh. You love it, Dave. For seventy-nine cents. 70 wow. Months. Italian. Well, what hero. was the average salary back then? Four thousand dollars. <laughs> I don't know. But you know what we're paying for this stuff now? What the hell in 20 years is this stuff going to oh. go? 
Wow. I am stroking out a little. That I always, whenever I find this thing, I look at mm. that, I'm just amazed. Happy. <laughs> Call them up, Ed. <laughs> Call that number. Call that number, see what you get. I don't know when ours closed, but I, I've i seen them only into the early 80s oh. with some of the... I like that Pappy's there. Of course, the same tables are in there. Is What's in there now? Grandma's? Is that still there? Grandma's yeah. gone. No, I think Grandma's gone. No, I think it's there. Mm. I'm going to is differ. I think it's gone. I'll have to drive by there. If it's still there, the Pappy's tables were in there last time oh. I went. Same tables. All right, Ed. It's the poster pairs game. Okay. Get going. Oh, I got to get up for this. Poster pairs game where you've set in two numbers from one to six. You select your entry. Did you hear that? I heard something. The microphone was just yanked off of me by my foot. Oh. All right, well, you set in an entry with two numbers from one to six. We select your entry, you reveal what's behind the two numbers. If they match, you win two free movie passes. Oh, man. What a disaster. Yeah. And let's go over to Ed. I was up very late trying to burn those damn death days. Uh, why can't you do these things earlier? I do get them set up during the week, but sometimes it's late Saturday before I actually try to burn them. Why? Uh, Why I, do you wait so long? I shouldn't wait that long, because I found out this week. Oh. We'll fix that for the next taping. <laughs> I want to say cats again, just for the meow, but it's Pamela Barra Harder okay. not spinning. She's not spinning. What is wrong with you? <laughs> One and six. Eddie. She must have put that down after I said, why aren't you spinning? But uh, maybe she just wants the two tickets. Well, because she's got to win. That's her choice. One and not two, Ed. Yeah. One and six. One and six. One and six. I think that's a good sign. Yeah. As uh, they Does show the, the coach, <laughs> no, coach shag. Uh, turning up because they show that uh, on that Wii TV on Sunday nights. Did you know that? Dave? I did not know that. Okay, and what is it? Six. I think that's a good sign. No, it isn't. Not this. Oh. Week, but she doesn't want to spin, and you know, two, two is fine for her. Well, she didn't get any. <laughs> she didn't get any this time. But oh, if she wins, very it, she wants her two. Very disappointed in Pamela. Hmm. Come on, Pam. You're better than that. All right, if you want to enter, just send an email to mediazone95 at gmail.com. That's mediazone95 at gmail.com. Send two numbers from one to six. We select your entry, reveal what's behind the numbers you've given us. If they match, you win free movie tickets. Two of them. And if you want to spin the wheel, you can spin the wheel for a chance to win up to 10 tickets in total. Ooh. That's right, look at that, Ed. 10. 10. Or six. Or four. I'll ask you a lifetime with some of the bombs. Oh, <laughs> I've been fun now. <laughs> but there it is. Hmm. Anything coming out this summer? You might venture. You did venture to Kong. I did that venture a, to Kong. You, you wouldn't go out to see the apes, though. What apes? Planet of the Apes? Planet of the Apes. It's not out yet. Well, when it comes out. Well, I don't know. I doubt it. Doubt it. I doubt it. Maybe. I don't have I time don't. to go on this story. All right. Next show. Next show. Remember the story about getting tickets. <laughs> getting the, tickets. Getting right tickets at the Regal. Make a note. <laughs> Make the notes. So there you go. Nothing exciting going on. Get Next out. time it's Spider-Man. I know you Whoa! want to see that. I got it. How many? How, is this not a reboot, is it? <laughs> so it's a new Spider-Man. How new? Days. How many? <laughs> you can't. I mean, you're rebooting a reboot. <laughs> how is this possible? A lot of Spider-Man in the past 10 years or so. Well, I don't get it. Oh, whatever. We'll talk about Spider-Man next time. You do it. This is your solo show. <laughs> Spider-Man and two other bombs oh, next okay. week. <laughs> Way to prep the show. We will see you then. The Media Zone has been a Cable 2000 production.